Welcome to our feature focus spotlight on Sonic OS 711, reputation based content filtering service from SonicWall. In this video, we'll navigate through the features and benefits of SonicWall's Gen 7, and we'll also see a demonstration of how reputation based content filtering works. If you are already familiar with the features of Sonic OS 7.1.1 and want to see the reputation based demonstration, you may jump ahead in the time bar below and click on the chapter labeled Operation of Reputation Based CFS. Let's take a moment to preview the list of chapters in this video. We open with Setting the Stage, where we will explore the many features of the Gen 7 Firewall series, which is the foundation for our Sonic OS release 7.1.1. Next is exploring the 7.1.1 release, to dive into the high-level features and benefits from the release. Spotlight on reputation-based CFS is where we review its new functions. In the chapter End User Benefits, we'll explore the benefits of the new feature that matter to both end users and partners. In exploring the operation of the reputation-based CFS feature, we will take a closer look at the new functionality. During the reputation-based CFS showcase demo, we will guide you through a step-by-step -step demonstration of setting up the new feature. The final chapter is our call to action for you to engage with SonicWall representatives to ask questions, explore additional features, and begin a new experience in network security. Setting the Stage Gen 7 Firewall Series elevates SonicWall's cybersecurity strength by living up to our core mission, deliver unparalleled protection against evolving threats, setting a new standard in security excellence. Gen 7 Firewalls form the cornerstone of a robust cybersecurity infrastructure that addresses today's challenges while anticipating tomorrow. Whether you're an IT pro or a newcomer, you will appreciate innovations that strengthen your network security and make it easier to manage. Exploring the SonicWall 7.1.1 release. Managing network security is complex, but SonicWall Gen 7 firewalls offer a straightforward solution that blocks advanced cyber attacks, while it evaluates and mitigates risks, and even simplifies how you manage your firewall administration. Gen 7 firewalls play a crucial role in safeguarding organizations against various threats, ensuring continuous protection from sophisticated attacks. Our commitment to staying ahead in cybersecurity is evident through our continuous hardware and software enhancements. Here's what's new in Sonic OS 7.1.1. Notable additions include advanced threat protection, a revamped content filter, enhanced DNS security, and seamless integration with Aruba ClearPass. We've also significantly improved multi-cloud deployments based on our partners' and customers' external feedback about previous performance and registration processes. Enhancements include NSV bootstrapping, token-based registration, and a new driver for NSV that increases performance. We also prioritized ease of use and operations by enhancing the web UI and user interface, plus we added support for Wi-Fi 6 access points. Spotlight on the reputation-based CFS feature. Reputation-based content filtering provides a powerful protection and productivity solution that blocks access to harmful websites and other online threats. SonicWall CFS compares requested websites against a massive database of rated website URLs and IP addresses. The process gives network administrators the tools they need to apply policies that allow or deny access to sites based on the reputation of individuals or groups within 89 defined categories. End user benefits SonicWall's introduction of reputation based content filtering, or CFS, adds an extra layer of protection that helps forecast the security risk of a requested website or online resource. The default setting is to block high risk and suspicious URLs and IP addresses. Now, let's get into the operation of reputation based content filtering security. Reputation scoring takes an integer score of between 0 and 100. The higher the score, the safer the URL or IP address. In addition to the scoring, websites are divided into six categories, high risk, suspicious, moderate risk, low risk, trustworthy, and URL without reputation. Websites receive scoring based on their content, like images that are considered objectionable because they promote violence or hate. Websites can also be ranked unproductive if they offer online banking or online shopping. Local URL filtering controls can also allow or deny specific domains or hosts. 
Administrators may also add their own customized filtering to fine-tune sites that are either allowed or blocked. It's time for the demonstration of our reputation-based CFS feature. Networks equipped with next-gen firewalls like Gen7 gain better visibility and control over the traffic that passes through their endpoint devices, thanks to features like reputation-based CFS. Administrators may start a new reputation security policy by clicking object on the top menu, then reputation on the side menu. This is how you can define your own custom filtering policy based on the CFS scoring and categories. Should you need to make any changes, simply click on the pencil icon located to the right of the policy listing. To begin, input a name for the reputation object. Then, for each category shown, select the desired enforcement action, like block or allow. When you've completed your selections, click Save. Setup for advanced filtering is done in three steps. Create a reputation object, then select an appropriate enforcement action for each score category and assign the reputation object to a CFS profile. The next step is to create a URI list of objects or groups. A URI list object defines a list of URIs or uniform resource identifiers that may include domains or even keywords. You can export a URI list to an external file or import a file into a URI list. Navigate to Object on the menu bar, then click the Match Objects tab, click URI Lists on the sidebar menu, then click the URI List Objects sub-tab and click Add. Next, give the object a relevant name and select URI or Keyword in the drop-down menu. Then select Domain. Administrators can also create a URI list group based on an extensive list of sites, domains, and keywords. For instance, in this example, the monster.com domain has been entered, and the keyword guns, plus the URI cult.com entry. Administrators can add a series of static lists of known bad URLs and IPs and join them as a URI list group for blocking malicious websites. Following the creation of the URI list of objects or groups, the next phase involves setting up a CFS rule policy. To do this, click Object in the top menu, then under Profile Objects in the sidebar menu, click Content Filters. From here, you can craft a custom rule by clicking Add at the top right of the page. In this screen, notice that you have three filtering orders, URL List, Category, and Reputation. To proceed, click the URI List tab and under the Forbidden URI List, click the down arrow and choose the previously created monster reputation object. CFS objects can be configured to permit or deny access to resources with a URI list. The priorities of content filter policies can be assigned to specific users or groups with CFS rules and can be modified per your specific business requirements. The new CFS security feature gives administrators granular content filtering controls that allow blocking or applying bandwidth to all predefined categories or any combination of categories. For example, to block websites based on categories, administrators can block the whole category and allow only the shopping category. Administrators can then assign custom content filter policies to users based on group membership. In this way, the firewall can determine usernames based on their single sign-on agent. Just enable HTTPS content filtering from the Advanced tab so that action can be taken even for HTTPS websites. Note that this option is disabled by default. The last step of the three filtering orders is to enable reputation and configure the reputation object to the CFS profile. Reputation-based content filtering is an excellent technology that can filter URLs by reputation and take the proper actions to allow or block the traffic. There are four actions supported. You can block users and define a blocking page to display when the connection is blocked. You can force the use of a passphrase and define the passphrase page to display and the password required to pass. You can require users to confirm the page before displaying it. With the bandwidth aggregation method or BWM, you can configure the bandwidth per the policy or action. You can also configure the detailed BWM status and objects for egress bandwidth management and ingress bandwidth management. There are additional options, such as navigate to object, action objects, and content filter actions, to define how CFS deals with packets after filtering them. To the right, you can view an example of the block page display.
Click Policy in the top menu bar, then look under Rules and Policies in the sidebar to find Content Filter Rules. This is where you may add the CFS policies with a specific URI list of objects and action objects. A default policy exists with a default profile and default actions. You may either edit the existing defaults or add new ones. You may also define matching conditions to hit a CFS policy by enabling source zone, destination zone, address object, users slash groups, schedule, CFS profile, and CFS action. Once content filtering security is configured and policies are enforced, you can test the policy rule by going to the site and validating the block pop warning. You can view the block counts in your network security manager app or the connection ratings in the firewall dashboard. Administrators can monitor and view website rating sessions directly from the firewall's home dashboard under network. You can view the session count for the top categories reported for the device. To analyze content filtering, you can click Monitor in the top menu, then look under AppFlow in the sidebar menu, click AppFlow Report, and click the Web Categories tab. From this area, you can export the data into a CSV file. This feature is particularly useful for conducting more in-depth analysis and for archival purposes, ensuring that vital security information is preserved and can be thoroughly examined as needed. Conclusion and Call to Action Gen 7 and Sonic OS 7.1.1 mark a significant milestone in SonicWall's journey to excellence. So, there's more to learn. Explore your upgrade by diving into details that will elevate your experience. If you are a partner or current SonicWall product user, check the user portal at my SonicWall for the latest features and updates. It's time to elevate your cybersecurity experience. If you are new to SonicWall, Please reach out to your SonicWall representative or solution engineer today by scanning the QR code on the screen. Subscribe for future feature Focus Spotlight episodes for more insights on other developments and updates from SonicWall. Thanks for watching.